Now I've been using the Lab Golf Mez putter for the past 12 months and I've got to say I've got pretty much mixed emotions about it. Is this putter revolutionary? Do you know what? I probably have to say yes, I think it is. Is this putter for everyone? I'd say probably not. Get in. But the ultimate question is, will this putter hold more putts? And I think the answer is absolutely. Will the Lab Golf Mez putter stay in my bag for another 12 months? And do you know what? I'm not sure. So let's just recap. I've got a revolutionary putter in my bag that I think holds more putts, but I'm not sure if it's going to stay in my bag for the next 12 months or not. That seems a little bit of a contradiction in my thought process. So this week I am out in Portugal on the Algarve. Today I'm at Quinta de Val with Glencore Golf and I'm going to go around this golf course. I'm going to hit some putts and I'm going to explain to you exactly what my dilemma is with that Mez putter. Right. It's a fiddly one on the first hole. Eight iron next to plot our way to the green on this par five. Right, let's see where that leaves us. If you're wondering why I hit an eight iron for a second shot on a par five, it's because this is all water and all down that side as well, which you probably can't see right now and uh, that flag is very well protected. This leaves a wedge in, so we've played driver, eight iron wedge. That's a little bit of a pull down the left and sit down ball, grab a piece. I really don't know what's down that side, but hopefully we found the left hand side of the green and we can get that mez put out and I can tell you a little bit more about my dilemma. Now, if you want to understand more about the concept of lab golf putters, then go back and check out my initial review for some more in-depth description. But basically, lab stands for lie angle balanced. And what it means is this face is balanced in a different way than any other putter out there. It essentially looks to reduce torque or twisting and means that you should deliver the club face at impact more square than the traditional methods that are used. Used. and despite many claims trust me this is revolutionary in the way that it is put together and the way this face is balanced and me as an average golfer I kind of listen to that concept I bought into it and what I've seen so far I very much believe it now one thing I like about the lab putter itself is the face because it's I describe it as fairly soft but it's also very consistent across that club face if you manage to get any sort of off center hits and obviously what that means means is you've got good distance control another one that gets really close but what I would say about distance control and lag putting and is something that's been it's a strong part of my game anyway so I would be hard pushed to suggest that this does it any better than other putters I've used in the past so whilst it's really good got a great soft feel I just love the consistency that comes off this thing. Now, the other thing is quite unique about Lab is this sort of forward press position, which is very much non-negotiable. This uh, grip and shaft combination, the way it meets the head itself in that center shaft sort of backward position means that forward press is automatically adopted. It is non-negotiable. And what that means is there's, uh, there's no messing around to try and find with some putters, I'm trying to find where my hands sit, how I lay the club head at address and none of that. You walk to the ball, you plonk your putter down on the ground, you grab this thing by the grip and you're good to go. And what about alignment itself? Well, I think that centre shafted putters in general are really easy to align. Forgetting about any face markings or uh, alignment aids on the top, the actual shaft being in the centre of the club face for me is not supposed to act, I don't think, as an alignment aid, but it does exactly that. It just sits perfectly in the center of the club head it sits behind the marking on the lab golf putter which i've opted for a thick black line and uh, there's a very clear visual between me and that hole and all i've got to do is a nice easy part and keep this club head square over to you mez just keep this thing square 
let the clubhead go through the ball and let it roll out to the hole. Almost didn't quite read the movements in that, but yeah, as an alignment aid in general, really good. Is it any different than any other center shafted putter that I've used? Once again, the answer would probably be not really. Today's video is brought to you in association with channel travel partner Glencore Golf and this week they've sent me out onto the Algarve in Portugal where I will be playing three different golf courses Quinta da Val, Quinta da Ria and Quinta da Cima and I'll be staying in nearby Tavera at the AP Cabanas Resort The hotel has a modern design with stunning rooms and balcony views to match and this resort has an all-inclusive option Pour yourself a beer, a glass of wine, and take the hassle out of golf trip planning. The nearby town of Tavira is just minutes away. Today's video is shot at Quinta de Val, which is quite simply a beautiful golf course in superb condition and a clubhouse perfect for post round drinks with a view. So if you want more information about this golf trip itself or any other that you might be considering planning right now, then please head over to glencoregolf.com for some more booking information. So then of course this balance element, do I believe that the concept actually works? Well, I would say 100% from what I have seen in all the play over the last 12 months, I really do think this idea and concept works. When I first watched the video from Sam Hahn from Lab Golf explaining how this has less torque, less twisting, maybe slightly gullible, I bought into that idea. But what I've seen on the greens, not the fairways, it has bore out to be true. And I've been really successful in hole inputs. So when I read the comments section, more and more people not just comments on my videos but in general media i'm noticing there's a lot of positivity towards lab golf putters i'm very much suggesting that this idea is the future of the way we'll see more and more putters balanced but i've left myself a little slippy one to prove the point so can we keep that face square fair bit of right to left and a fair bit of pace Hold on, ball. Oh, hello. Right on cue. But I'll be honest with you, I have hold more putts than I can remember, both on camera and off camera. And for me, the thing ticks a huge amount of boxes. But there is a butt. Now roll out. Now roll out. Roll out. Yeah, not too bad. If there's one thing that this putter does without doubt, it improves the tempo of my swing. But to achieve that, it requires a commitment to a putting stroke that is probably alien to both you and to me. And that's a problem because, or maybe one for me in particular, the analogy I'd use is imagine if you drive in a country with a right-hand drive car and then travel abroad and drive a left-handed drive car, it's a little bit odd. You drive on the opposite side of the road and it takes a little bit getting used to. Now, when you get used to it, it's fine. But then when you jump back to your home country, you're switching back to your right hand drive car, left hand drive car. And all of a sudden, everything starts again. Now, if you do that for a long period of time, if you move from one country to another and spend your whole time driving a vehicle on the opposite side of the road for good, everything's fine but then to keep switching back every other week that's quite difficult and that's essentially what i do with my putter as a club reviewer many people ask me why have i moved the mez putter out of the bag and the fact is i haven't but i review other putters at the same time and that causes me a problem because the problem is switching in and out is never easy and learning a new putting stroke every week is never easy and the fact like i said that i've played this game for 30 years understanding to play with a putter in a certain type of way i'm having to adapt each week the big question is would i or am i prepared to commit to maybe a little bit more time on the practice putting green before i go out in a round and try and eradicate that problem to get the benefits of what i see are all the positives in this putter and the answer is yes so Ultimately, it will be staying in the bag for the 12 months. I have got slight issues with it. And the only thing I want to point out to you as a slight concern is you're going to have to go into this with an open mind and make sure you're prepared to commit to a potentially different putting stroke than you are used to.
Right, that's me done a morning here at Quinta de Val on the Algarve in Portugal. Sun's shining. Out here courtesy of Glencore Golf, like I said, and we've got another few days here, which I can't wait to show you around the golf courses. Plenty more products to review, plenty more things to see, and uh, that probably start again tomorrow night. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all then.